What's up, side hustlers, entrepreneurs, business builders, and dream makers? Welcome to the Study Side Hustle Podcast, episode 64. Honestly, guys, you can probably tell my demeanor, I'm a little lethargic, uh, but I am happy to be back in your butts. It's been quite a while. Um, I haven't talked to you because I've been traveling in preparation for a funeral. Uh, my grandfather passed away on July 5th. And I planned the funeral and I officiated the funeral. And so I've been very busy, very preoccupied. Um, and I think if I were to share anything with you today, because um, I am lethargic. I got home really late last night. I overslept this morning, but I'm groggy. Um, if I were to share anything with you today, it, it would be this. Um, I've built a life for myself that allowed me to take the time that I needed to plan a funeral, to officiate a funeral service. Um, I was gone for a week and I was able to do all of that uh, without losing any income, without using any paid time off, uh, without any consequences to my business or to my revenue. And that's, that's a, that's a, benefit that you get when you build your own business. See, if you if I was an employee, maybe I would have enough paid time off. Um, maybe I would have bereavement leave. Maybe the company I worked for would have something that allowed me to take that time off and still get paid. And maybe not, right? Um, and maybe oftentimes with bereavement leave, um, they would actually say my grandfather's not close enough family um, and things like that. But in this case, because of the business that I've been able to build, um, my boss was able to say to me, hey, take all the time you need. This is important. I communicated with all my clients. I didn't lose a single client over it. Um, I didn't have any negative impact in my business. Um, some slight timeline adjustments, but not even um, not even that severe. And some opportunity costs, sure. I didn't spend the last week doing what I do to grow my business. Um, so now I'm getting back into rhythms on that. Things like things like the experiment that I told you guys about that uh, I have really, I'm not going to show you actually. I'm going to wait till I have everything, then I'll show you. And that might be Wednesday. Um, but uh, yeah, so some things that I need to get back in traction on, but it's really cool to be in a position in business where you can take an entire week off and it cannot impact your business whatsoever. And it's interesting. I actually learned while I was uh, while I was traveling for that that I actually have uh, some some family members who actually think that my wife and I are struggling financially. And um, at this point, we aren't. You know, and you know, starting a business, building from scratch, you definitely have ups and downs and hardships, and there's plenty of struggle. Uh, but it is interesting to know that um, people's perception seems to lag behind reality in that sense. Uh, that's been my experience so far. Um, yeah, and then here's another one. Uh, in times of hardship, seek to be the person that makes things easier. Seek to be the person that can plan the funeral that can carry the coffin, that can make things easier for everybody else. If you can do that, you've done something worthwhile. That's all I got for you guys today. Love you. Talk tomorrow. God bless.